Hello everyone, this is Sambhu from Cloud Tech. Today we are going to explore like how we can send SNS notification from AWS Lambda by using Python Boat 3 API. So for that I have created this is the architecture diagram like how we are going to send that uh, email or notification to that particular customer or user. So what I am going to do here is like uh, on the client I am going to upload one file to the particular S3 bucket. So once I have uploaded that file to the S3 bucket, then I will set the trigger S3 event triggered so that it will trigger the Lambda function. And once the Lambda function is triggered, right, by using this Lambda function, I have written some Python code. By using that one, we can send the notification to the topic and then who are the subscribe to this topic, then it will get automatically those notifications to this particular customer or user, okay? So guys, let's move on to that AWS console. So uh, let me create uh, AWS Lambda function one. Let me show you how we can create that. Let me create from scratch. SNS. Anything like that, any name you can choose. Okay, and select the Python version. I'm going to select and permission. Create one role and advance. I'm selecting as it is default. I'm creating so role will be name will be like this. I'm just going to create. I don't have any role for this one. So let me create this lambda function. This is the role. Lambda creation in progress. OK. So. Let us finish first this one. So my Lambda function creation is done, right? So this Lambda function as per the architect diagram, right? Once some file upload to that S3 bucket, right? Then it has to trigger this Lambda function, right? So the trigger should be the S3 event, right? So let me give that S3 event here, the trigger. S3. Actually, this topic I came up that SNS topic, right? One of my friend requested like uh, now we are triggering Lambda function by S3 event, right? So my friend has requested like how we can trigger the Lambda function by using SNS. So before come to the demo, I thought like, OK, let's uh, discuss about how we can send the SNS notification by using Lambda using the Boto3 API, right? In my next subsequent video, I will show you instead of the S3, right? How we can trigger that uh, Lambda function by using SNS, okay? So let's select this one, select the bucket name, and let's, uh, once we upload something, then only it, it should trigger. And this prefix all, uh, in my previous video, I have already explained all these details. So if you're not yet watch, please take a look at that. So I will give that link to this video description. Uh, this is done. Let's go to the code section. Before the code, right? So this Lambda has to trigger the S3, right? So whatever role it's created, right? So let's see that role have the permission to invoke that uh, uh, S3 or not, okay? And this Lambda has to trigger the SNS notification also, right? So we need to give the permission SNS notification also, right? So let's go to the IM role. And if you not yet watch my previous video regarding that I am role, right? How I am policy, I am role used to work, right? Please take a look at that. I will I will give that link to this video description. Okay. So let me add here attach policy. Suppose add S3, S3 full access. Okay. Add this permission. Then let me add one more like SNS, right? We have to add the SNS also. SNS. Let me give the SNS full access. So I have these are the permission for this role. So that now this Lambda role wise, it is good. Now let's go to the coding part. I have written the coding here. This code is as it is from previous code, whatever I have uh, demonstrated like how S3 went triggered by using the Lambda, right? So same thing uh, I have just uh, 
uh, extra added part, this SNS part. So let me explain this part, what I am doing. I am taking the SNS, SNS client, how we have to take that S3 client, right? In my here about, right? Similar, we can take the SNS client. And so once SNS client is done, right? What I am going to check, like uh, whatever object we are copying to source bucket, right? And that uh, source bucket to target bucket object is copying it. So how we are checking like uh, the customer target bucket, right? Object copy is done or not. Based on that, we are uh, sending the SNS notification. What we are doing here, like we are copying that uh, object to target bucket, and then we are checking that uh, filter like uh, S3 gate object uh, like SCL, and then we are checking this code like uh, that particular object is present or not in a particular bucket, right? So this can be uh, used for anywhere, like uh, we can create some Lambda function, like we can check like if this object is there or not, something like that purpose also we can use. But here I'm going to check like uh, whatever object we are uh, taking backup, right? That backup is target bucket is there or not. So that particular uh, filter we are doing here. And if it is there, then we are sending notification like, yeah, that uh, object copy is done to the customer uh, bucket uh, then we are sending that email like uh, to the customer okay and if it is not done also we are sending the notification like object is not yet completed copying or like that we are sending the notification okay so let me copy this code so before that uh, you i will give you that uh, aws that boto3 api right uh, from where i took the reference of this on the, the coding part right so how we can create that SNS like this, we can create and then uh, while we are publishing the message, right? If you see here in my code, we are publishing that notification, right? For that, what all argument I am using here, right? If you see here, like a uh, topic ARN, like uh, which topic I would like to send, right? So I have already have one topic. So let me show you that how we can uh, open. Before that, let me copy this port, then I will explain that too also. Okay. So coding part done. So let me show you that uh, publishing part, right? So here I am giving a topic, then message, and then subject, right? That could be there could be many other parameter we can pass here. So let me show you that. So if I go to the publics, right? We can batch publish also. We can do. here there are multiple things: topic ARN, top target ARN, phone number. You can give message, subject. Mm -hmm. We are only giving the topic ARN basic part so, and subject and message. And as per your requirement, guys, you can put uh, this thing. I will give this link to this video description. You can take this as a reference. So this is done. Um, let deployment is done. So let's go to that. Uh, let me check in my email, nothing notification is there. So let me go to that S3 bucket. So in this Lambda, right? our target is the, uh, what is our target? Let me check that. Bucket is Cloud Tech S3, right? So let me go to that Cloud Tech S3. Let me delete this. Because this file only I am going to, or maybe we can another file also we can upload. So what is there? Okay. So let me delete these two files here. I will going to upload these two again for this demo. Um, this is the confirmation. If you guys want to delete anything from the Amazon giving that uh, uh, before delete, you have to give some confirmation here. Okay. And in the bucket, let me go to here. In my last video, I have done this thing, right? So that's why it is there. So now go to S3, this one. And now go to upload. Add file. OK, suppose I am going to add this, OK? And soon as I upload right, that the Lambda function has to be triggered and it has to send that notification also to my email address, right? So let me before that, let me show you that one more thing, the SNS topic, right? The ARN part. So I have already created one topic here. So SNS, Amazon, simple notification service. So I have one topic, so cloud tech topic, something like that. And this is the ARN and same part I have copied here, this ARN part. OK. And then message, OK. And by this Python code, we can create our topic also. That also it is possible. If you see here, right? 
create topic or something will be there. Since I have already, so I am not going to create again. So okay, so I am just pass that uh, topic to this file. So let's upload. So upload is done. So let's go to here. Let's go to target bucket. So here also it's copy to the date. And but now go to the my email address. Let's see here notification is coming or not. So we can check that uh, logs also that cloud watch log, right? So let me that log. Cloud watch log. So it is sending started uh, customer sending. C is notification started sending to the customer. So hopefully we'll get the notification. Yeah, we got the AWS notification also, right? Hi object copy to your bucket, something like that. And we are sending like a subject we gave like a, a, a SNS notification demo from cloud tech AWS Azure GCP for everyone, right? This is what we have give, given to our code, right? If you see this code, right? So this is what we are going to it and message we are giving like this and subject I have given like that, right? So that's why it is important, right? So we can, if anything wrong, right? Yeah, then we can check in that cloud watch log, like uh, what could be the error or what is the going on in this lambda, right? Because since it is a serverless architecture, right? There is no servers, right? A server, so why to check the logs, right? So this is the place we have to check the logs. But if we have server, then we have the log file there. Right? But for this case, this is the log. We can check here. Okay. So whatever we have given that uh, log, right? That info message, right? It is coming here in the code, whatever we gave, right? So like this, we can send the noti SNS notification by using uh, like uh, Boto3 API from AWS Lambda. And hope guys, uh, this video will helpful to you guys. And if you feel like this video is relevant to you, then please subscribe my channel and send to your friend. And in my next video, I will come up like a how we can trigger the Lambda function by using SNS topic. OK. So by the time, guys, we'll see you in my next video. Till that time, bye.